After fighting cancer for three years, How's that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bernadette Dealey is about to find out if she has won the battle. The results of her PET scan will tell the story. Bernadette's fight began in early 2019 when she experienced back pain so severe she ended up in the emergency room. That time they did an ultrasound and they saw something suspicious. A healthy and active mother of two, Bernadette feared the worst. And at that time, I was working at my daughter's elementary school as a school nurse, and I just, I, I, I knew something was not right. Bernadette received the diagnosis on Valentine's Day with her husband, Mike, by her side. I had multiple masses. I had a very large mass on my pancreas. Mike didn't need any. And he, um, any uh, further description of what was going on. Bernadette had an aggressive form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a blood cancer that had spread throughout her body. Inside, I just, I could not believe the words I had just heard. The next day was my daughter's birthday too. So I, I just, it was just a lot to process. Chemotherapy failed to slow the cancer. In fact, it got worse, making Bernadette ineligible for a bone marrow transplant. The pain I had was unbelievable. I had a tumor so big pressing on my spine that I had a compression fracture. It seemed hopeless until a family friend suggested CAR-T therapy. Like Bernadette, Chip Baldwin also had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that failed to respond to chemotherapy. But Chip was in complete remission. He had been cured by CAR-T immunotherapy at the University of Maryland Marlene and Stuart Greenebaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for CAR-T. When I was told that the, I was ineligible for the bone marrow transplant, I could hear Chip, Chip's voice saying, okay, now we have CAR-T. Get to Maryland, get to Dr. Rappaport, get to Dr. Dehia. They're gonna find a way to get you better. A leading expert in immunotherapy, Dr. Aaron Rappaport has been researching and advancing CAR-T therapy for more than two decades. And under his leadership, the University of Maryland became the first in the region to offer CAR-T therapy for blood cancers like lymphoma and leukemia. With CAR-T therapy, what we do is we, um, is we collect uh, T cells directly from the patient's own bloodstream. So these are patients' own immune cells. And we take these cells and we then genetically engineer them. And these individual T cells then can go and recognize other cancer cells. And then they deliver killing molecules that basically perforate uh, and destroy the cancer cell that it attaches to. On her 15th wedding anniversary, Bernadette met with Dr. Sarab Dahia, who would oversee her CAR-T treatments. Knowing what we were facing, knowing it was our anniversary, thinking of the vows we made to each other, and this could be our last anniversary. We just um, were so grateful that Dr. Dahia said we're gonna do this and we're gonna give it everything we had. And um, we needed that, we needed that hope. But so far, cancer had the upper hand. This is the imaging right before she got CAR T cell therapy. By this time, she had received eight rounds of chemotherapy, and you can see the cancer right here invading into her spleen. During CAR T therapy, Bernadette's own T cells were removed from her body and sent to a laboratory for genetic modification. The immune cells were given a synthetic protein receptor called a CAR, which stands for chimeric antigen receptor. And these CAR-T cells, they're like a living therapeutic agent. They expand, they activate, and they go after uh, the cancer in, in the patient's body. Dividing and multiplying into the billions, the modified CAR-T cells have the power to seek out and destroy cancer cells one by one, like a cancer-killing Pac-Man. About 80% of the patients who would see this treatment or get CAR T cell therapy would respond. And about 50% of those would, would see such dramatic responses that their lymphoma would be cured. CAR T therapy was Bernadette's last hope. This is it. This is hope, CAR T. 
This is the future, the next frontier with cancer treatment and cancer therapy. Giving hope to cancer patients is the goal of ongoing research at the Fanny Angelo Cellular Therapeutics Laboratory at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. In the laboratory, state-of-the-art technology is used to process CAR T-cells for clinical trials. The Prodigy machine is a rather interesting piece of equipment. It can perform all steps of the CAR T manufacturing process. It separates T-cells out of the original starting material. We also can transduce or genetically modify them before we infuse it directly into the patient. Dedicated in 2018 by Governor Larry Hogan, the laboratory is also where scientists are developing new forms of immunotherapy to target more types of cancer. A big problem that we're facing as oncologists is solid tumors such as lung cancer, prostate cancer, and pancreatic cancer, for example. So the first step needs to be to identify the mechanisms that tumors use to escape the immune control. That's something that we've done. And the next step will be to find ways to deal with these problems and to circumvent the mechanisms that the tumors use to escape from, from your type of immunotherapy. Third year medical student Lisa Matsumoto is also assisting with CAR-T research as part of her educational experience. She's evaluating patient data to help improve CAR-T therapy. So I've been working on collecting clinical data on our patients who have received CAR-T cell therapy and we are trying to better enhance the management of care after CAR T cell therapy. Hey, good morning, good morning, Ms. Dilley. For Bernadette Dealey, the time has come to learn the results of her PET scan and find out if she has beaten cancer with CAR T therapy. This is it. The PET CT scan that you had this morning uh, looks great and it shows complete remission. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody here. I just. I'm so grateful. Can I give you a hug, Dr. D? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Bernadette Dealey is cured. Thanks to CAR T cell therapy, the University of Maryland Marlene and Stuart Greenebaum Comprehensive Cancer Center, and the physician scientists of the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I felt like I got the best care in the world.